So this last weekend, I went for a run, and I ended up running along the riverfront in Taipei called um, Rainbow Park. I ended up running too far. I ran several miles, and then on the way back, decided that I would walk and read. But the problem was my eyes kept on jerking around as I was walking and reading my Kindle app on my phone. So I played around with the accessibility, went into accessibility, and then turned on the voiceover. And by doing that, I could listen to my Kindle book through my headphones and without looking at the screen. As long as your iPhone and your Kindle are online, they will synchronize your last updated page. So when you're done reading on your iPhone, it will update on your Kindle and vice versa. I'm going to narrow, navigate into my Kindle app, open it up, go to my book, and now I'm going to turn on the um, voiceover. Hey Siri, turn on voiceover. Okay, I turned on voiceover. Now I'm going to exit this screen, go back into the Kindle app, click on one line with one finger. Now I'm going to take two fingers and slide down the screen. Bar they had, bar they had predicted they'd want or the candy bar they wanted right then. Most of the time, the students' predicted desire did not match their actual desire. Some things, like candy bars, increase our level of happiness for very short periods of time. That's the good news. The bad news is that we are not good at identifying what will make us happy in the future. It is entirely possible to work for years to reach a goal, let's call it a payday, and when you have achieved it, to find that it doesn't make you any happier. You find that you really want a Snickers. The hey Siri, reminder. turn off voiceover. But this bad news is that if something... Okay, I turned off voiceover.